All right, Subaru drivers. We have new oil today. Modal Gear 300 75W90. Full synthetic and also is GL5. A lot of people tend to run these in the Subaru community. Ride some forums. It has a fill uh, plug or fill funnel right here. If you can pull that out all the way, but I don't want to do that in my room because it'll smell extremely bad in here. And then we also have my instrument cluster bulbs and I'll, I'll put some pictures up of uh, where the location is for specific bulbs, but the cluster lights have started to dim down over time. So I want to get those replaced right now so I can see in the, in the dark a little better. Yeah, uh, let's get started. Okay, today the tools you're gonna be needing. I believe on my car, it's a T70. You need your gear oil. This is the same stuff you put in the trans and in your differential. These are your little lamp bulbs for the instrument cluster, number 74. You're gonna want, I test fitted this and this works. This will reach your dipstick or fill hole in the engine for the transmission. And it's another beautiful day in Montana. Just look at that. That's awesome. I like to take the fill plug or the, the fill dipstick out. And we're in luck. Okay, 21 millimeter bolt or socket, sorry. That's what you're gonna need. And uh, look for the washer if it's there. And uh, let's, get, let's get this oil drained. Let's hope this doesn't splatter everywhere. That looks pretty clean, actually. There's not too much sludge on this. We'll take a look at it. Not a terrible amount. There were some chunks in my 2002. They're pretty fine. And these are all pretty fine shavings, too. I would think this is, this is normal. You just want to make sure you clean this off. Yeah, so that is the gasket. It was connected to it. Not sure if these are going to fit. Oh yeah, not even close. Doesn't look like it's in too bad of a shape, but we're going to clean the surfaces of this and the bolt. Clean that off a little bit. Clean off the surface of the gasket where it sits right here. There you can see transmission oil, manual transmission. We have the five speed, 3.7 US quartz. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put two and a half and then we're gonna start measuring to see how much more we have to put in but know that roughly it takes 3.7 quarts. Don't think we're gonna need this but people are saying to go with 35 and a half foot-pounds. Okay it's on with 35 it's on with 36 foot-pounds of torque right there. Um, Seems pretty snug. We're gonna put in our one quart. Make sure it's definitely in the fill hole or else we'll just have a ton of gear oil spilling out onto the floor. I'm gonna leave that right there. We got one quart in. Supposedly this oil is supposed to help with shifting. Don't necessarily have a lot of shifting problems. Sometimes it's hard to get into third and I have to let the RPMs wind down while I'm driving. Gonna see how this works. Maybe the shifting will be even smoother. Don't know. But I definitely wanna do this just as preventive maintenance since in the maintenance records I can't find where the transmission and diff fluid was changed. So might as well do it. Doesn't hurt. That's two quarts. Since we only want to put in two and a half right now and then start measuring, we're going to put in 20 fluid ounces. See if it's even touching a dipstick or not. Likely it won't, but better to be safe. Get our dipstick back in there. Pull that out. And it just hit the tip of the low. Uh, yeah, you guys can see it's right there. So we're going to go ahead and put that rest, the rest of that in. Okay, we got three total quarts in. Three quarts, baby. 
Okay, let's pull it out. Okay, we're right in between the low and the full. Yep, right dead smack in the middle. Okay, again, I have overfilled. <laughs> By pretty significant amount, let's take a look at it. Well, the oil level is right here. Should be right there. Uh, so I came to the conclusion that um, I'm gonna change the differential fluid first. I'm gonna drop the car, I'm gonna go for a drive, 10, 15 minutes, let it get warm. Then I'm gonna bring it back here, park, leave it on the ground, test the oil after all the oil's gone down into the, into the pan, test the oil, see where it is. Between the F and the L, that's usually about a quarter of a quart. So differential, I think, just use a, uses a half inch drive. Oh boy, that's in there pretty hard. I do have power tools, but I do not want to use it on the differential. So. Okay, so top one is fill, bottom one is drain. A little bit is coming out from the top, so let's go ahead and unbolt the bottom one. Hard or chunks? No, it's pretty soft. Okay, so it's just all really thin shavings. There we go, that's 36 foot pounds. Go ahead. What you wanna do is you wanna fill this in there until you start seeing it seep out of the fill hole. Okay, so it started to drip down. Let's go ahead and put that bolt back in. Yeah, that's 36 pounds. All right, so we're good to go. I'm gonna drop these and go for a quick drive, and see how it shifts. All right, janky drivers, I went for a drive. The car feels great. Turned the car off, I'm gonna let it sit for the next 15 to 30 minutes because I'm gonna install these bulbs that go onto the instrument cluster, instrument panel. All right, first step is there are these bolts, or sorry, there's these screws here and here that you have to undo. And I tend to like these really stubby screwdrivers so I can get to them. You're gonna wanna pull this out right here the center console. I have a microphone, so I'm gonna to wanna to be careful with the cable there. The next up, you wanna get these three screws. There's one up there, one down there, and one down there. Okay, those are out. You wanna angle this going this way. That way you can gently pry this out, and then you're gonna to wanna to disconnect all the connectors on the back. All the connectors are Actually, they're at the top, I believe. Okay, all right, well, let's get to that. And since most of them are dim, we're gonna replace all of them. So what you wanna do is you wanna find, um, I'm gonna put a diagram on here right now, but it's gonna be this bulb, this bulb, this bulb, this bulb, and this bulb. Yep, there you go. I'm gonna pull this out. You pull that out, you replace it with this one. And then what you wanna do is you wanna wipe off any grease that was on your hands onto a towel so that they don't burn out as quick. Go ahead and put that back in. Okay, there we go. All right, here is the moment of truth. There we go. Nice, bright, and illuminated. Okay, well, I'll wipe down the dipstick. I'm gonna put it back, or I'm gonna pull it out. 
yeah, we're a little bit above the full mark. I'm gonna keep driving just a little bit to see how it is, but uh, should be good. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching uh, this episode of Janky Drivers. See you guys soon.